quick news. We have uh, had the announcement of uh, Exodia, the head of Exodia, to be clear, being uh, an OTS ultimate rare in tournament pack, OTS pack 25, which is um, an interesting choice. I think this goes along the, uh, along the lines of, I believe they also announced the um, infinite forbidden. Hold up. The Infinite Forbidden, which I'm not sure. This is, is this a main set? Uh, this is just a main set, right? I was I was a little thrown off, but I think this is the next main set after Legacy of Destruction. And it has the cover card is that Exodia support that they announced recently, right? And it's um, it's going to release for the TCG uh, when July 18th, which I think is before Euros, which is interesting. Um, yeah, it's before Euros. It's leaked for Euros. And I think that's I think the new Exodia support is probably the reason why we're getting ultimate rare Exodia in the OTS pack. Um, Boyger, thank you for the 12 months. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, also, Ten King, thank you for the Prime. Thank you so much. The, yeah, Exodia head as an OTS ultimate. On the one hand, like, what do you think of this, chat? Like, I'm, I'm not sure what to think of this because on the one hand, I do think it's cool. Um, I do think it's, it's a cool ultimate. It's a very iconic card. Uh, on the other hand... I have two issues with it. The first one is it's probably not going to be meta relevant. I say probably because Infinite Forbidden has Exodia support that isn't completely terrible, but still um, probably not competitive, competitively relevant. My, my, my bigger issue with it, though, unironically, is that I find it kind of weird to print only one piece of Exodia in a certain rarity. Like, no matter what you think, the best version of Exodia is if I want to if I want to like get an Exodia card in a certain rarity I would want my full set to have the same rarity am I the only one like I would feel very weird playing like an ultimate rare Exodia head or collecting an ultimate rare Exodia head and then not have the uh, the, the 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 arms and the legs in the same uh pack at uh, the same rarity like that'd be weird so does that mean that they're going to print the the other Exodia pieces as ultimate rares in like consecutive OT OT OTS packs? Kind of what they've done with like Sky Striker links, right? Possible? I don't know. Oh god, no. I mean, yeah, that'd be weird, right? That'd be weird. But at the same time, just printing the head in ulti to me is, is also weird. I find that weird. I, I'm not that interested. If I wanna, if I wanna collect an ultimate rare Exodia head, I wanna have the arms and the legs too. But anyways, uh, it's it, that's that's all we have in terms of the announcement. It's only it's only what we have in terms of the announcement. I don't think it says anything else. Uh, I am fatal. Thank you for the four months. And Bergic, thank you for the eighteen months. Welcome back. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe in Rarity Collection 2. I mean, look, if if they put the Exodia pieces in Rarity Collection 2, what do we need this for? Because this Ultimate Rare is going to look different than the Rarity Collection Ultimate Rare. That that doesn't make any sense. Like, they could have... That's one thing I could have get. I could have gotten behind. Like, I would have probably preferred this. Just throw all the Exodia pieces into Rarity Collection 2. That I would have... That I would have found that very cool. Because then you can like, you can uh, collect them in whichever is your favorite favorite rarity, right? Like you can like, you prefer ulti, get the ulti. You prefer collectors, get the collector. You prefer quarter, get the quarter. Like that would have been cool. Think of the next five OTS packs wasting an ulti, ulti slot. I mean, wasting is, a, is, is very... Um, subjective right like i, I personally i value wise yeah this is not going to be the greatest ulti um i personally still w would think it's a cool card though but yeah anyways um 
yeah, long story short, OTS Pack 25 is gonna have Ulti Exodia. Think of it what you will. I personally think it's it's okay, but I think it's kind of weird that you don't get all the five pieces in the same rarity. I think that's that's what's throwing me off about it. Um, all right. Aren't Exodias also Starlight? There are Exodia pieces in Starlight Rare, I think. Yeah, that exists. I don't know where that was printed, but once again, that was printed all... I'm pretty sure that was all in the same set and all in the same rarity. That makes sense. I think just having the head in ulti is weird. To me, that's weird. Battles of Legends? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Speculate the other ultis, SP? I mean... It's hard to say... I feel like I feel like you. I, I say this every time a new OTS is being speculated, but I am still amazed by the fact that we still haven't gotten Ulti Ash Blossom. Um, like I I was at some point I was sure that they were gonna do all the Ghost Sisters in Ultimate Rare because they've done what have they done? They've done Ghost Ogre. They've done Ghost. Um, they've they've gone they've done Cherries. But they actually haven't done any of the others. Oh, yeah, they're saving that for YCS price support. Yeah, copium, copium. Surely we're going to get exclusive uh, rarities for top cuts of YCSs. That's finally going to make it worth, you know, copium. But I mean, what are other cards that would be like all time favorites to be in OTSs? I mean, I think SP Little Knight would be a very good decision. Um, I think uh, Baron is also kind of overdue, but like, I mean, Baron has gotten the rarity collection treatment, so I don't know if it's necessary because you can already get your Baron in a bunch of different rarities. Typhon would be really cool. Typhon would be very, very cool, yeah. Mirror Jade, you really think they're going to continue throwing more and more branded cards in here? I feel like at some point we're done with the branded... Uh, old OTS cards because I do I do understand that they are like that people like old like branded ultis but like there's only three slots every OTS pack <laughs> Daya Bellstar is likely I I, I I don't think it's unlikely that they are gonna shift to like um to printing the next big lore thing which it seems like it seems like Snake Eyes Daya Bellstar is another big lore coming up if they want to print an ulti for that i don't think that would be unreasonable yeah ulti wanted oh i mean ulti wanted would probably look pretty nice uh but yeah i mean speculating uh doesn't really make that much sense here we're just gonna have to wait and see i don't think there's enough of a pattern when it comes to ots packs to make good predictions here like i don't think anyone would have predicted exodia for example but all right